American Bandstand uh, with uh, the, this I know, let's do the slop. And them kids would scream everything, you know. And uh, so after, after a while, uh, when Peanut came out, they had Bandstand. And we went on Bandstand for the second record. We had a territory hit with the slop and this I know. We brought it to the Apollo Theater. They never seen this dance. Everybody went crazy over the slop. And this I know. Uh, Mr. Shep used to, we had, he had us open up the show the first night. He had us open up the show. And after we opened the show up, he brought us all down backstage he said, uh, Little Joe and the Thrillers. I said, Yes, sir. He said, I'm not going to let you guys open up the show. And uh, I'm going to put you in. I'm going to put you in front of Big Mac Bell. So I was, you know, I was sad. I said, Mr. Shepard, what's the matter? We, we was bad, too bad. He said, no, no. He said, you guys too strong for opening up a show. Uh, that, made me, that made me feel better. He said, uh, you too strong for a stronger act to open up the show. We're going to put you in front of Big Mail, Big May Bell. The Nightingale wrote the twist and gave it to me in Atlanta, Georgia. And the uh, reason why, uh, see, uh, you know what I got, you know, like, uh, uh, they wouldn't let me do the twist. The general manager of Columbia, he didn't like rock and roll. He, he, he didn't like uh, Screaming Jay Hawkins. He didn't like Doc Bagby and Mitch Miller. He was, he was the head of Columbia, Mitch Miller. He hated rock and roll. And, uh, and when I brought the song to Arnold Maxim, he put thumbs down. He said, it's too suggestive. He wouldn't let me record it. And I just, just turned over to rock and roll. I didn't know nothing about copyright. In fact, the penis was on the air and everything. I didn't have a copyright. Because I didn't know nothing about copyright. So uh, I didn't get a copyright. So the, uh, the Nightingale gave it to Hank Ballard. He got a copyright. And then Chub Chubby Checker got a hold of it. Hank Ballard had it out first. Chubby Checker got a hold of it and got it, made it bigger. All they did, the song was originated like, come on, baby, let's do the twist. In the background, we would say, up and down and round and around. Up and down and round and around. Whoa, up and down and round and around. Whoa. Up and that's how the song was. And Hank Ballard, Chubby Check it. All he did was still put up and down. That's what Clubby could have did. Still saying, let me say it, up and down and round and round. Just say round and round and round. You know what I'm saying? E eliminate up and down. No, they didn't like the whole song.